so as you can see here we have these weird angles and these angles will affect the final render if we render this check what we get this triangle looks and we don't want this so what's the solution here the solution is to create some cuts and change its positions so we go to vertex mode and I will create my cuts by connecting these vertices into each other so right click cut and let me connect these and then right click we don't want me to remind you how to create cuts and here too cut right click and again cut right click I need some uh, here too I need it to go through this one fine and maybe I need to change the position of these two vertices okay so again cut I select this one right here cut up to this one right here and the final one will be here and right click now what we need to do if you remember we rotated this circle here but let me first change the position of some uh, edges I need to double click this edge uh, I don't need all of these maybe I can scale it up no I need only I will press alt to deselect all of these and I need to push no okay I have a problem here I need to connect these three vertices first and then work on it okay so I select this 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 and this let me press weld of course it won't work so I can use target weld I need all of them to be connected to this one okay so I can create another cut right here I use the cut tool if you press shift you can get an even oops I need it to be here fine and now maybe maybe something close to this one right here and right click now let me select this oh, I don't know I don't need this one let me make them even and now I can easily change its position I need it down we have some cuts we don't need we don't need this one so press control backspace to get rid of it sometimes you you'll find yourself cleaning your scene it's better to do it before going further with extra modeling to avoid any issues you press control oops control backspace to get rid of what you don't need of edges I think it's fine now now I need to make it e uh, look climbed if you remember we rotated this one here 
so if you press L to go to the left view this is what we get no I need it to be I don't want to be uh, diagonal or perpendicular no I want it to be like 80 degree like this so I go to vertex mode and I will select these upper vertices I will make sure I'm not selecting anything funny I don't need this one for instance and now let me push them back one by one or group by group okay now we deselect this group and now we deselect this group to finally get this and like you see they're not even so we select them group by group and we make them even they should look like one vertex in each line so we make them even that group too and finally this group here and this one goes with them now let me get back to front view and here this this area became clean we need to do the same with the lower part so let me get back to left view and I need to push these like this this one too And here in the bottom, say we'll go here. And finally this group now we need to make it inclined so we select all of these push them forward and press alt again alt and the final group will go slightly and you see here we need to push this back and here we need to push this one as well that removes any funny look or weirdness in the overall shape now press F and here we got riddance of all the weirdness in our shape let me press F P to go to perspective view to make sure everything is fine I think this point here need to be pushed slightly and same for this one okay next we need to flip we select the editable body we need to flip this guy here I need to go to top view or perhaps left view and I need to select it as an editable body raise it up exactly above this one or maybe it was behind it uh, below it all I mean sorry it was right here okay it needs to be a bit bigger and then I will rotate it while making sure of the angle snap and it will go minus 
85 degree not 20 now let me push it forward push it down it won't be accurate for now but I need to put them as close as I, I can now let me press F and here you see this is the place where we will connect it actually we can do some modification in this part we need to go to vertex mode and select these rows of vertex push these or scale it do the same for this side only this row oops I always select I, I don't need this or these two only these three rows fine and now let me push and same right here I need to select these three rows maybe they need to be scaled and then pushed I need to do another scale and push them we don't want to disturb anything ok everything is fine so we do the same for this lower we need to scale them and push them scale again push do the same here and push them down as much as we can we need to get this area with similar or close size of this area so that's our editable poly we select both of them don't forget we have two pieces here we push it like this and now I select only this one I press attach and I will attach this to this one in the next tutorial we will create a bridge between them but first we need to make sure we have the same number of vertices between both of them so no funny things can happen so see you next